No matter how long you've worked at your job, there's a good chance you've gotten fed up at some point and may have wanted to take this job and shove it, even though you loved that job when you first started. So how do you do that? How do you get that excitement back? Well, it's all spelled out in a new book. The title, Love Your Job, The New Rules for Career Happiness. And we are joined now by author Carrie Hannon. Hey, Carrie, thanks for being with us. Hey, Steve, thanks for having me here. Yeah, you cite one survey that suggests that only one in four people are actually fully engaged in their jobs. Are you surprised by that? Uh, not so much. You know, I travel around the country talking to workers quite a bit, and the sense of there's always something greener on the other side. And so, you know, people really need to get re-engaged because that's what we're doing. And you've got some tips for uh, really getting the spark back in, in, your, in your job. And by the way, it sounds a little like couples therapy, but one is to, uh, <laughs> one is to take ownership of your job. How do you do that? You know, it's so true. I think, Steve, when you think about it, what really makes people say they don't like their job is they're bored. I mean, boredom is the root of it. So I have a mm. couple of quick tips. I mean, the first thing you need to do is really look at what do you like about your job and ramp it up, you know, and that usually involves learning something new. Just do one thing to start making your job more enjoyable and, and just adding one course might just get you going in that direction. You know, another tip is, it sounds really simple, but declutter your office. When you start making decisions about, I value this, I don't value this, it's liberating and you start to make decisions about your life at the same time. You know, another thing you can do is you might talk to your boss about seeing if you can telecommute or find some flexibility in your work arrangement. I, you yeah. know, studies show that people who telecommute are far happier than those who don't, who at least have that autonomy. How do you, you talk to your boss about that? How do you convince your boss that's a good idea for you? Oh, to telecommute? Yeah. I, the best thing, you need to talk to some people in your office that do it so you know the ways of the land. And then start small. You know, ask if you can try it out for two or three months. And actually, the summer's a nice, a nice time to start that, saying, maybe could I try it on Fridays? Or do it in baby steps. But make a plan to try it. Do a trial period first. A lot of this is about attitude adjustment. One of them is, is uh, actually volunteering, saying yes to new assignments. Oh, I love that. Raise your hand and say yes. We're often afraid to take on new duties because we're afraid to fail, but do it. It'll get you a little nervous, get you excited about your job again. And volunteering just is a really good mojo. It makes you feel good. If you can do it with coworkers, even better, because when you ask people what they love about the job, it's often the people that they work with. So find ways to do things with your uh, coworkers and, you know, celebrate their successes too. Yeah, what about mentoring uh, fellow workers? You know, mentoring is a wonderful way to give back, and it, it makes you feel good about your own talents and skills. You start to say, hey, you know, this is something I can help somebody else with. And, you know, when you help, and you see the feedback from them coming your way. So it's a very positive thing to do. You know, and I think there are other little ideas you can do. This is really simple, Steve, but studies show that people who laugh and smile at work more are more engaged in their jobs. Gallup has a recent poll that showed that. And that helps other workers, too. Uh, one of your suggestions I like, but I don't completely understand it, is, is your suggestion, finding joy around the edges. Uh, you know, absolutely. We're not going to love our job every single day. Let's be realistic. So, you know, you don't want to get up every morning and be like, oh, I don't want to go in there. So think of things around the work that, that is possible to bring you joy. And one thing is the idea we mentioned volunteering, but it might even be like, is there something you can do with your colleagues like a softball league or, or a bowling group? Or maybe you do an acapella group that you go to nursing homes or something. Things you do outside of your office, yeah. even a working group. Uh, uh, a walking group, I mean. Yeah, I hate to end this on a down note, but if none of this works, how do you know when it's time to bail? Yeah, you know, Steve, you got to do some soul searching. That's something that only you are going to know. And so, you know, there's often the time when you do need to make that shift, but please don't do anything rash because especially if you're over 50 in the job market, you definitely are going to take longer to find a job. So make sure you, do, you know, enjoy where you are today, make the most of it, and slowly make your plan to move along. Carrie Hannon, great suggestions. Would it surprise you if I told you I really love my job, but I've got a cluttered office? <laughs> <laughs> well, you love your job, no doubt great. about it. <laughs> Thank you very much. The book is called Love Your Job, The New Rules for Career Happiness. For more information, visit Carrie Hannon.